critics slam Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, calling it a brainless movie. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom sank deep into the water with no indications of rising to the surface, according to most reviewers, who deemed Jason Momoa's picture a disservice to the fictional world. Critics panned the sequel, claiming it lacked the substance of the original and fell short in several other areas. Claire uh, Lowry uh, criticized the picture for The Independent, describing it as the latest entry in the rogues gallery of brainless franchise films and um, a damning indictment on the uh, DCEU's legacy. Can Aquaman and uh, Can Aquaman, the half-breed superhero who lives in both worlds, unite them, wondered Variety's Owen Glipperman. The stakes are high, but not high enough to uh, warrant holding uh, your breath. Uh, Lovia um, Gyroki uh, said in the Hollywood Reporter, What's uh, most disappointing are the stakes. There are few story twists here that uh, make you think that Aquaman uh, will fail or that uh, his trust in ORM uh, will be misplaced. I only remember one instance when I nearly uh, gasped. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom struggles with uh, inconsistent character portrayal, uh, subpar CGI, and a lack of narrative direction, said uh, Wallery uh, Complex in Deadline. And uh, the capacity of a franchise uh, uh, to pique the interest of its audience in what uh, comes next is critical. There is no um, uh, attention to detail here. Despite its thin story and ridiculous moments, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is an uh, enjoyable enough uh, superhero movie, said uh, screen rant critic Molly Freeman. It's fast, uh, it's uh, fast paced enough that I never got bored. Yeah, yet uh, forgettable enough to qualify as um, uh, a throwaway flake.